Hello and welcome. Today we'll be going over a hysterectomy visualization. Visualization is a tool that helps you see yourself succeed and practice success in the future. It's used by several athletes and high performers to build confidence and enhance performance. I'm going to lead you through a hysterectomy today. I'd recommend that you close your eyes and visualize each step as if you were performing the surgery. Let's start with the abdomen open. You've just placed your choice of retractor. Once you have a clear view, you'll start with the round ligament. You grasp the round ligament with your pickup and place a figure of eight bicycle suture around the round ligament. You tie this down and ask for a hemostat to keep the suture tagged. You then grab your bovi and bovi through the round ligament on the medial side of your stitch. Once completely through the round ligament, you travel down the posterior leaf of the broad with your bovi. You're staying superficial and traveling parallel to the infundibular pelvic ligament. Potentially someone's guiding your bovi with a right angle. Once the posterior leaf is open, you find your ureter on the medial leaf of the broad ligament. You visualize it and palpate it with your thumb and index finger. You create a window in the peritoneum clear above the ureter and under the IP. You ask for two Zeppelin clamps and doubly clamp the IP. You then cut the IP with Mayo scissors and ask for a tie on a pass. You pass behind your more cephalad clamp and tie. You then tie off your other clamp. Your ovary and fallopian tube are now freely attached to the uterus. Your assistant lifts the ovary and fallopian tube. You check the ureter again, and then you take down the remainder of the posterior leaf in the direction of the uterus and parallel to the floor. You repeat this process on the opposite side. You then assess the anterior leaf of the broad ligament to create the bladder flap. You make sure the anterior leaf is very thin and dissect with bovi cautery or Metzenbaum scissors to above the bladder reflection. Your assistant may be elevating the peritoneum for you so that you know the tissue is thin and you're only getting peritoneum as opposed to bladder or underlying vessels. Once you have dissected the bladder to the midline, you or your assistant will take the anterior leaf of the broad on the opposite side. Once the bladder has been dissected off of the cervix and vagina, you assess the uterine arteries. You skeletonize the uterine artery and decide it's clear to place a clamp. You place a 45 degree Zeppelin clamp on the cervix and slide off the cervix to clamp the uterine vessel. You cut this pedicle and then call for an ovicle stitch. You place the stitch at the tip of your clamp and tie this down. You assess the uterus to then put a straight Zeppelin clamp. You place the clamp down on the cervix, bouncing off of the cervix and medial to your first pedicle. You cut this and again throw a stitch at the tip of your clamp. You or your assistant repeats this process on the opposite side. You continue to place straight clamps until you feel as though you are below the cervix. You place a 45 degree Zeppelin clamp under the cervix bilaterally and you call for Jorgensen scissors to amputate the cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. The specimen is then passed off the field. You close the vagina with ovicral stitches in a figure of eight fashion. The end. All right, excellent. So let me know if you like this format in the comments and definitely subscribe or like for more videos like this. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.